Hello and greetings. Welcome to video number two on my series of open source uh, social network, also known as OSSN. On this video, I'll show how to replace your main page or your home page uh, background um, and your logo, basically. Those are the two things that I'll show today. Um, the next coming, coming videos, I'll show how you actually start editing more. But let's go ahead and jump jump right in and, and see what it looks like right now. Okay, so right now it actually looks like this. This is your the layout that you have. Um, this is typical. Um, they do charge. They do for the two forty nine. You do get access to more themes and so forth, but for now I'm going to start showing you how you could actually start changing uh, your logos, the background, and in the next videos I'll probably start showing you how you get rid of this uh, powered by by the open source social network and probably this oh it you know this blue area here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go ahead and turn this off right now. I'm open my FileZilla. Okay, so there I am logging in, okay? Um, so, let me go back to the home, because this is what you're, you'll be normally greeted by. Uh, let me go all the way back. So you'll be greeted, and let me zoom in. Like that. So you'll normally be logged in, and you'll have this, um, you know, all this uh, Etsy folder, mail, and all this. And normally you'll have a, a WW folder or you'll have a public uh, HTML folder. Basically in short, WW and public HTML is the same folder uh, for the most part. You'll notice that I have both folders in there. I have my OSN uh, folder and then I have my OSN data folder. So um, what you're going to do is go here to the OSN folder and you're going to go down to where you see themes. In themes, you're going to find the, the default, which is just one, is, is go blue. And then you're going to find the file called images. And in images, you're going to find your background, uh, <coughs> excuse me, loading. Uh, the ones you want to edit are probably, for now, it's going to be background and the, your logos. Um, and I'll show you what I have for mine um, so on my I created two um, actually I, I made a couple of them uh, one of them you want it to be transparent and I'll, I'll tell you the reason um, if you don't do it transparent when you when it loads up on the main page it's going to be in its way but that's that's really up to you I mean that that's uh, whatever whatever you're doing but I'll show you um, uh, so here's themes for me here's my go blue and under images you'll notice that I have background but then I created one called OSSN background just so I have a backup of it and then I have OSSN logo um, dot PNG and this same PNG, I'm going to make it into uh, the JPEG. The JPEG normally it will give you a white background um, versus the, the PNG right here. If you notice, it just, you could only see like the little dots. But when you double click on it, there's actually words in there. Um, it's just because they're, they're transparent. So let's go ahead and transfer these two files over. So let me get out. Let me get back to my FileZilla. Yeah, that, that should be good. So remember I have um, these OSN and the idea behind it is I could just drag these over and I'm not, I'm not gonna overwrite anything, okay? What I am gonna do though is now I could actually just right click to this and delete it and then that way I know that I have a backup over here if in case I need it. Uh, and then logo.png, I'm gonna get rid of it too. 
So you kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going to rename this. And I'm just going to get rid of the OSSN dash. And this logo, I'm going to go ahead and, and rename to just logo.png. Now, at this point, this is actually all you really need to do. So uh, let me close that. Let me open Chrome again. So Chrome will always keep it in cache. Okay, so this it still shows you your, your old stuff. As soon as I refresh it, you're gonna notice my, my background is gonna change. Now the background that, that I chose to do just a very simple was just dark in one side, lighter on the other side, and but no logo on anything. The logo is transparent right here, that's why it comes up. And you'll notice if I click on login, then the log this the page still goes all the way through. Um, yeah, hopefully this video helps. You know, all that good jazz, thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Next one, I'll be teaching how you actually get change this uh, powered by open open source social network to put maybe something you want. And that's it. Hopefully you liked it. Thanks.